morning, you guys. Today we're going to do some isometric work. So if you have weights that are a little bit lighter that you can hold out in front of you, up and over your head, up to you, how heavy that is. So rotating your toes out, take a nice deep breath in, and then sweep and left. Inhale, exhale. Two more. One more time. Now reach and pull right into your heart. Open and pull. Extend the arm as far away from you as you can. Three, two, one. Reach down and switch. Just a tiny bend of your knee, keeping those feet in one space. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and rest. Reach for the sky. Interlace your hands. If you're just popping on, you're going to want some light weights here. Rotate all the way to your right. Take from here the right hand behind your back, left hand to the right hip. Relax your shoulders. Big breath in. Other side, interlace, reach for the sky. Shoulders down. All the way over to that left. Left hand behind your back. Right hand to your hip. Big breath in. Back to the middle here. Open up one more time. And then take a nice, big, deep squat here. So we're going to hold it. Pull the arms up and down. So squeeze and pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three more, eight, nine, and 10. Reach for the sky, hinge forward, take a nice deep breath in. Now take your hands down as far as feels comfortable here. You can always bring them to your shin if it doesn't work to come to the floor. Now I want you to open up and take that left arm all the way toward the ceiling. Create that space in your posterior chain. The back part of your body is pushing away from you. Switch and lengthen other side. Nice inhale, open. Very nice, back to the middle. Soften the knees and roll it up. So we're gonna start you guys on the floor holding a V-sit to work that core. So we're gonna come down to the ground here. Now, if I need to have a pillow that I can tuck behind my back, little tiny from here, Pilates ball, I can also hug my knees and hold them in here. So the goal will be shoulders back. I'm gonna lengthen my legs and open here. So nice deep breath in. Now, if need be, you can always soften your knees, otherwise you're gonna hold here. Shoulders back, abs in. Find your breath, find that center. Keep these muscles nice and contracted. Shoulders down away from your ears. Just 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Drop to your feet, interlace your hands, seeker. Great job. Come all the way back. Now from here, we're gonna come all the way down. Now what I want you guys to do is take your hands and place them to the floor and you're gonna squeeze your glutes up. Now I don't want any tension or stress here in your neck. Take a nice deep breath in. Reach your arms up and you're gonna alternate. One up and then the other. One, two, and three. Keep your hips up. Four and five. Open up that shoulder girdle. Five, four, three, two. One more time. And relax it. Drop down. Take the bottom of your feet together and just relax here. And now I have that natural curvature in the spine. So if I feel comfortable, I'm going to tuck my pelvis, interlace my hands, and then sweep those arms up and over the head. Now try to take that low back and relax it down. 
Very good. Go ahead from here, you guys. We're gonna flip over into a plank and we're gonna warm up that body. So I'm gonna use my little um, timer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one minute holding up on the palms, one minute holding down on the forearms. All right, so if it doesn't work, I can always stay down here the whole time. And if I'm in a plank and I just take my knees and place them down here, anytime I need a break, I can just push back into that child's pose. So we're gonna go one minute all the way up here on the palms. So neck in neutral, abdominal muscles in you guys. Now feel from here that length from the crown of your head to your tailbone. Nice inhale, shoot those palms down. That's it, now pull the belly button in. Squeeze your glutes. Nice deep breath in. Shoulders away from the ears. Contract those quadriceps. We're already at 35 seconds, you guys. Now pushing right into the earth. Shoulders away from your ears. You're at 40 seconds. Try not to let that low back sink. So keep your glutes and abs engaged tight. And in 10 seconds, we're going to go down to the forearms. Try not to drop to your knees unless you need to. So five, four, three, Two, here we go, forearms, you guys. Now, neck in neutral, abdominal muscles in nice and tight. Big breath in. Nice big breath out, you guys. <clears throat> now hold it nice and tight. Big breath in. Holding, almost there, you guys. Big breath in. We're almost there. You have 30 seconds. Hold strong. Now really press into the earth. Keep your neck in neutral. Squeeze your armpits together. 20 seconds. Make this count. 15 seconds. Feel that strength in your body. Shoot the energy out of your heels. Shoulders away from your ears. Eight seconds. Five. Three. And two minutes, push back here, child's pose. Wonderful job, you guys. Take a moment and relax your hips side to side. I want you to thread the needle, so take a moment here and lengthen your right leg. Your left arm is gonna tie underneath, and I want you to open up that shoulder. Big breath in, pushing your hips back, lengthening your spine. Nice inhale. Feel that space in the back part of your body, in your shoulders. Nice inhale. And then let's switch legs. Open and lengthen. Nice inhale. Now you're going to take that right arm all the way under. Relax to the ear and the side of the head. Open it up, you guys. Big breath in. Wonderful work. Back to the middle, you guys. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to push back to a downward facing dog. A lot of pressure on the shoulders. If you need to come down to the forearms, that's fine. Let's take a moment here and curl those toes under and then lift those hips up. Now, really feel that space in the back part of your body. Lengthen here, taking your shoulders away from your ears. Press into the thumb and the first finger. You're opening up those hamstrings. Now, what we're going to do here, you guys, is you're going to hover into that crouching tiger. Now, this can be a lot on the quads, a lot on the palms. So if I need to, I could come down here to my forearms instead, and then I could pop it up here and then drop it back down. So I want you guys to decide what's going to work. Again, we're going to try to do this for one minute, kind of going back and forth, okay? So let me set my time. All right, so reset. So we're gonna start in that crouching tiger, either from the palms, you guys, or from the forearms, okay? On your marks, get set. Now get into position, your neck is in neutral. Your abdominal muscles are pulled in nice and tight. You're gonna go ahead and lengthen your spine and push back down dog. Inhale, and then reset. Neck in neutral, abdominal muscles in. Inhale, exhale, push it back. Inhale, 
Exhale, hover. We're already at 25 seconds. Your knees are almost up to the floor, but they're not. Push it back down, dog. Nice deep breath in, back to your hover. 35 seconds, shoulders away from your ears. Big breath in. Start to feel your quads warming up. Push back, down dog. Hover, lengthen. 45 seconds, big breath in now. We're at 50 seconds, push back, down dog. Back to a hover now. Five seconds, four, three, two. Drop down to your knees and push back, you guys. One minute, relax all the way and lengthen your spine. Fantastic work. We're gonna come into a side plank. Now, I know this can be a lot on your shoulders. So if need be, what I could do here is take my top leg, bend it, and then I could lift from here. Big thing to think about is, is my elbow under my shoulder? If I'm out like this and I try to lift myself up, then I'm really gonna be hurting that shoulder by not having it lined up. Now I have another choice. I can take my bottom knee, and I can bend it and I can hold myself up just like this. And if I need a break, just drop to the floor, okay? So we're gonna go 30 seconds here. I'm gonna try to hold that side plank like so if I can. So neck in neutral, abdominal muscles in, and hold. Now think about one line here with your spine coming all the way open. Nice deep breath in, whether you have your top foot down or your bottom. Big breath in, you guys, we're already at 15 seconds. Just like that. Nice deep breath in. Feel that strength here. I know it can be a lot on your shoulders, so hold strong. Pull that belly button in. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Drop to your knees, open up to a T, and really reach those arms out, you guys, nice and long. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. Let's switch to the other side. So we're going to set ourselves up. Make sure your elbow, either top leg, bottom knee, or we're going to isolate and hold it. So 30 seconds, elbow tucked in, pop it up. Nice deep breath, you guys. Now feel that strength, elbow underneath those shoulders. Keep that oblique lifted from here. Nice inhale. Big exhale. You guys are so strong. So right here, we're just at 10 seconds to go. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Four, three, two, and one. Give it a rest. Great work. Pull your knees in. Open up to a T. Now really feel that space in your fingertips. Big breath in, you guys. Great job. Now we're gonna come back to that core. So what we're gonna do here is you're gonna isolate, extending from here your legs out. Now, oftentimes this is come into your low back. So I'd like you to do, if you have any kind of a back issue, take your knees and bend them and place your hands right into the small of your back. Now from here, you can lengthen your legs and I want you to drop the legs as low as you feel comfortable. Maybe that is to a 45 degree angle. Maybe you can come down further. Maybe you can hover. So the goal here is we're going to hold for 10 seconds. What I want you to do is to contract and squeeze your quadriceps, lengthen your legs. Now make sure here that your hands are coming underneath that small, the top of your hip, and your low back is touching to the floor. So nice deep breath in. 10. Nine, if you feel more comfortable elevating your head, this is an option. Just keep your chin up from your chest. Squeeze your buns. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your knees in. Take your hands behind your head. Now, what I want you to do is lengthen and extend your right leg. Now, your left knee is going to pulse. The right leg is going to stay elevated. Whether your leg is up here, down a little lower or to the corner of the ceiling. So now from here, left knee, pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale as you pull that knee in. Seven, 
eight, nine, and 10. Reach for the sky. Now we're gonna switch legs. So nice deep breath in. I'm hovering my other knee in. Nice inhale, exhale, one, two, three. Exhale, pull it in, four, five, low back in front, six, and seven. Now eight and nine, one more, and 10. Pull it in, hug it out. You can relax your head down or you can keep your head up, it's up to you. Want you to come to a happy baby pose. So from here, I can grab onto the outer part of my feet. I can hug behind my knees. I can reach through the legs and grab onto the bottom of the feet and just relax and imprint that spine. Nice deep breath in, you guys. Inhale, exhale, feel that space there on your hip and then lengthen those legs out as far as you can. You need to use the wall with your feet up against the wall. Roll your ankle. Your low back should be touching. Rewind it. Very nice. Now I'm gonna lengthen my legs and contract the quadriceps. Again, if I have a hard time doing this, I can soften my knee or just focus on holding one leg straight. So the goal here is going to be right hand behind the head, legs nice and straight, lengthening. I'm going to reach up and try to touch my shin, my shoelace, or my toe. One, two, exhale, three, four, five. Now glue your hamstrings to that wall away from you. Seven, eight, Nine. Now I'm going to pop my hips up. I'm going to hold my hand in one space and pop. One, two. Use your abs. Three to lift it. Four. Exhale. Five. Glue those hamstrings. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're going to switch. So big breath in. I'm reaching. Maybe my shin, maybe my shoelace, maybe my toe. One, two, three. Four, low back and printing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm gonna pop it. One, two, close your eyes and it Three, use your lower abs to lift. Four, five, six, glue those hamstrings. Eight and nine, one more time you guys. Fantastic, take a moment. Bend your knees, open up your arms to a nice big T, and then drive both of your knees to the right side. So lengthen through your fingertips. Increase that space here, you guys, reaching those arms. And if it is comfortable and you wanna lengthen that top leg, you can open up down your IT band, roll the ankle. Now, hopefully everyone has a spot where you can do a wall squat. So if it does not work, you can do a squat, just staying in one place. You don't need to use a wall. However, if you can use a wall, it can be a lot more challenging, but also in the respect of your form, it can really help you to keep your form and your back nice and strong, just like you're sitting in a chair, but having that support of the wall. Nice deep breath in. Bend those knees in. I'm going to roll all the way to the side and then just gently push myself up. So I'm going to keep here, you guys, my weights with me as I'm going to come to my wall here behind me. And if you do not have a wall, you guys, it's fine. You can still, you could take um, from here the squat and you can just hold it in one place, okay? So I'm going to come from here. I'm gonna use my timer. Our goal here is gonna to be to try to hold a wall squat, you guys, for one minute. So from here, feet are hip distance apart. And it's okay if you can just hear me and you have to come out of the way of the, of the picture. You're gonna hold your, your wall squat from here and you're gonna add a lateral raise. So squeezing the arms but holding the legs. Nice deep breath in, nice deep breath out. Digging from here through the heels. Exhale on the way up. Nice deep breath in. Pinning your back to the wall if it works. 
Feeling that strength in your legs. 40 seconds, we got 20 to go. Big breath in. Dig those heels. Plant, plant from here, that back all the way into the wall. Low back touching. Here we go, five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna walk it up, lengthen my legs, and push back. Now, stick with your wall, you guys, and if it does not work, it's okay. You're in your squat. What you're gonna do here is you're gonna bend your right knee and your left heel is gonna stay down, okay? All right, so nice deep breath in. We're gonna just do 10 reps of each move. So from here, I'm bending and I'm holding. Bend at your elbows. Pulse, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Pop it up for a second. So which from here, other side. Otherwise, hold your squat, you guys, if you don't have a wall. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. You guys are so strong. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Walk it up. Open up your feet. Now, to do a plie squat, you do not need to use the wall. However, if you use the wall, it can help you to keep your posture taller because you have a tendency to want to fall forward. So plie, you rotate your toes out as far as you can. Your heels come in. If you have the wall to guide you, keep your back nice and tall. So nice deep breath in. From here, front raise. One and two for three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Great job. Take a moment. Now we're going to go ahead here and come up on our right tiptoe. Whether I'm holding without a wall, it's fine. I'm going to alternate here. Front raises. One, two, three. Four, exhale five on that right tiptoe. Seven, eight, two more. Nine, one more time, you guys. Pop it up. Other from your side. Open it up, shoulders back. Sink through it. One, two, and three. That's it. Four, five, great work, you guys. Six and seven, we're so close. Eight, nine, one more both sides. And give it a rest. I'm gonna lengthen the legs and push my hips back, contract the quadriceps, reach those fingertips away. Nice deep breath in, feel that space in that back part of your body, but also use the support of the wall if you have that ability. Nice deep breath in. From here, soften the knees, but keep your back straight. Lengthen it back out. Wonderful job. We're gonna come back from here to our mat. Now, as we try to work our balance, when we come from here onto one foot, you have the option to lift up that one knee. Maybe I need to use a wall or a chair close to me as I isolate and stand on one foot. The goal is to keep your knee higher than your waist. You're gonna pick up your light weights. Now you have a choice. The first 10, we're just gonna lift that knee and hold it. Now at the same time, I'm gonna reach my arms to the corner and pull back in. If this is better, I try to take my foot a little bit lower so I can work my balance. It doesn't matter, okay? If you can, and you can lift up this knee as high as your waist, you're working your abs at the same time. One and two. Exhale, three and four. Wrists are strong and straight. Five and six. That's it, you guys. Seven, eight, two more. Nine, 
and 10. Great work. Now we're gonna switch sides. So I'm gonna find my center of balance. Maybe I lift my foot a half of an inch. If I can, as high as my waist. Ready? One, two, three. Squeeze your scapula, four and five, six, seven. That's the way. Eight, two more times, you guys. Nine, one more, and 10. Fantastic job. Now, what I'd like you to try to do here is as we lift, we're gonna try to straighten this leg out and try to hold it. Now, if I need to use a wall, I can come from here and use, well, I think it's a little actually harder doing that, but you could also just keep your knee bent. So I'm gonna try to isolate here and hold that leg out as we do 10, from here, bicep curls. So finding the center, lifting the leg, and curl. One, two, and three, four, five, contract the quadricep, six, exhale, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Wonderful job, you guys. We're gonna switch to the other foot. Shoulders back, lift up your knee as high as you can, lengthen your leg and curl it. One and two, now three, exhale, lift it. Four, five, contract your quadricep. Good, seven, eight, two more. One more time. Fantastic job, you guys. I'm gonna bend my knees, place my weights down. Now we have a quick little set of burpees. Need a drink, feel free to take it. Have a chair, have a step, have a stool. You always have the option to step back as opposed to jumping back. So as we come back here, you guys, what I'd like you to do is add a leg lift where we isolate and hold for a second. I'll show you what it looks like. You're gonna come back from here, step or jump back. And then we're gonna isolate and hold for three seconds. Isolate and hold for three seconds. Drop back down, pop it back up and reach. So we're gonna go with the left side leading three seconds, right side three seconds for a total of five times. And then we're gonna switch the lead leg. If you need to stay onto the floor instead, you could also drop to your knees and just lift up one leg. Nice deep breath in. Abs in, separate jump back. Left leg, isolate. Three, two, one. Right leg, neck in neutral. Three, and two, and one. Separate jump in. Now one, same thing. Abs in, left leg. Three, two, and one. Switch, neck in neutral. Three, and two, and one. That's two, same thing, inhale. Exhale, three, two, one. Switch it, three, two, and one. That's three, two more just like this. Abs in, three, two, one. Switch it up, three, squeeze your glute, two, and one. One more time, inhale with that left leg first. Three, two, one, switch it up. Three, two, and one. Now it's gonna be the right side. Abs in, three, two, one. Switch, you can always drop down to the opposite knee. Two, one, inhale. Exhale, right leg, neck in neutral. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Soft knee. Three more times, you guys. Right side, three, contract the quad. Two, one. Your eyes are actively trying to hold that leg. Two, one. Let's do it, last two. Feel that strength in the upper body. Squeeze your glutes, abs in. Two, one, switch. Three, two, 
One. One more time now. Inhale. Three, two, one, and three, two, and one. Great work, you guys. Take a moment here. Right over left, left over right. Increase that space here in your shoulders. We're going to take here the left arm, pull it across, tuck it in. Open up your shoulder and just gently roll your wrist. Rewind it. Very good, you guys. Switch to the other side, pull it across, tuck your elbow in, feel that nice space in your shoulder, and then roll your wrist. Very important, we find time to stretch and strengthen, you guys. Three more, two, one. Fantastic. Now we're gonna come up onto our tiptoes and try to hold. That does not work for me. I could come to a calf raise, come up and down. So we challenge our balance and we just try standing on our toes, but we're gonna have a tricep kickback. So I want you to grab a weight, bend your knees. You're gonna stand up nice and tall. Think about your posture, ears over the shoulders, and think about the shoulders all the way with your spine nice and tall. You're gonna stand up on the tiptoe. Now from here, I'm gonna take my palms away from me and kick back. One, two, three. I'm trying not to hinge forward at all. Four, five, six, that's it. Seven, eight, ears over the shoulders, shoulders over the ankles. Three, two, now pulse it. One, two, three, four. Five, awesome job, you guys. Seven, eight, nine, give it a rest, roll it back. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna step back, you guys, with our right foot. Now, I can keep my back leg straight or I can soften my back knee. So if I can come down from here into that lunge, I can also use a wall as a guide without using any weights and just take from here my hands up against the wall and push here. So I'm gonna to try to bend my back knee and we're gonna do 10 seconds and we're gonna do that lateral raise again. So 10, nine, pressing through the front heel, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lengthen the leg. Now I'm gonna lean forward and hold this stretch and then tricep kick back. One, two, three, and four. Press to the front heel. Find your center of balance. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Step it in, roll the hip, rewind it. Now we're gonna switch legs. Now my left foot's gonna come back. I wanna make sure it's hip distance. I can bend my front leg, keep my back leg straight. I can use the wall. If I feel comfortable, I'm gonna hinge from here and drop down. So 10, lateral raise. Nine, eight, press to the front heel. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Straighten the leg out, hinge from your hip. Feel that nice space in your leg. Tricep kick back. One, two, three, your elbows a pivot point. Four, five, press to the front heel. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fantastic job, you guys, step it up. Roll the hips out, rewind it. We're gonna go external rotation of the hip. Now what I'd like you to do is hold your arms up from here. Think of a goal post. One, two, three, cross the center line of the body, four. Now rewind it. 
Cross it over. One, two, three, four, one more. That's it, increase that range of motion. You can hold the arms up if you need a break, take it. Other side. One, two, three, cross that midline, four, and that's it. Other side, other way, pull it in. One, two, three, four, one more. Now hold those arms and pulse. One, two, three, four, no tension or stress in your neck. Five, four, three, two, one, and give it a rest, you guys. Roll back. Wonderful, roll forward. Now, using your weights are not up to you. You're gonna just basically hold them right here at your shoulders, okay? So what we do is jog it out. Nice deep breath in, nice deep breath out. Just jog and hold. Five more like this. Three, two, open. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold the tricep. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Bend your knees, place the weights down, reach for the sky, and spread your wings. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Fantastic. We're gonna hit the ground here. If it doesn't work to do mountain climbers, I will pull one knee and then the other from standing. So the motion you guys is gonna be trying to isolate here, okay? Your palms underneath your shoulders, neck in neutral. I can do this and I can do 10 and 10 each side and just do a donkey kick if jumping and moving and holding on my palms doesn't work for me. So nice deep breath in. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Neck in neutral. Hold those palms strong. Seven, eight, nine. Hold plank. We're doing one leg, switch legs. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Drop to your knees and relax it. Nice big breath in. Gentle rotation with your hips. Now it's a jack. Whether you do a standing jumping jack or a plank jack or a plank step, it doesn't matter whether you're on your forearms or your palms. Just gives you more space on your palms. So if it doesn't work, you're on those forearms. So I'm gonna isolate from here, hold the upper body steady, neck in neutral. Either I step, tap, or jump 20 times. Two, four, engage those abs, six, Eight, hold the upper body steady. 10 more. Two, four, six, eight, and relax it. Drop down, push back. So we're coming to a bird dog. Now, this is better for me to come onto opposite arm and leg, lengthen and hold. Okay, great strength in your back. Now you have the option to come down onto your forearms and then come into a plank from here and then lift from here. And if 
you want to give it a whirl, you can come all the way up and isolate here. So the goal is going to be 10 seconds holding. Any way that works for you, whether you're on your knees, on your forearms, or on your palms, give it a whirl. Take a nice deep breath in. Neck in neutral. Abs in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. Push back. Let it go. Take your palms next to your feet and roll your wrist. Rewind it. So from here, you decide you want to come into that low plank. You're elevating. The hips naturally want to come high, so you're trying to hold them. And the same with that full bird dog, okay? So whichever one works better for you. Neck in neutral, abdominal muscles in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. Drop down. Rest your hands by your feet and roll the wrist out. Great job, rewind it. Now we're coming into a bridge. So we're gonna be on our back and we're gonna be isolating here those glutes. So I want you to have your weights close by. Now the goal will be to lift up the hips, not have any pressure in my neck, and all we're going to do is just change where we're lifting one leg and then the other for the first 10. So no weights. I'm going to press my triceps down, lift my glutes up, and then march in place. One. Exhale. Two. The rest of the body is trying to stay steady. Three. Exhale. Lift it up. Four. Try to bring that shin, if you can, parallel and squeeze your glute. Now keep your legs close together. So always have that center of balance. Seven, eight, nine. One more time, both sides. 10. Now we're gonna go 10 butt lifts. Without letting the back touch the floor, dip the hip and squeeze the buns. Three, Four, five, six, straight from the ceiling, seven, lifting that belly button in, eight, digging your heels down, nine, now top of the movement, pulse it, 10, nine, eight, seven, squeeze your buttons, six, no tension in your neck, five, four, three, two, and one, take a moment and hug it out. Pull those knees in. Nice big breath here, you guys. Nice big breath out. We're gonna circle the knees away. So this time as we come to our bridge, it's gonna be a single leg bridge and you're gonna use your weights. So what you're gonna do is make sure you have your weights close by. You're going to glue your knees together, lift it up, and then you're going to lengthen your right leg. So maybe it will come up to the ceiling, or maybe I can bring it parallel with the other. But the goal from here is to try to keep those hips lifted and those abs in, and then we're going to use the arms here and hug a beach ball. So squeeze it up, hug it. One, two, three, four, Five, squeeze your glute now. Six, hug it out. Seven, palms facing each other. Eight, nine. Now I'm going to keep my hips up, but change feet. Glue my legs together. Open. One, two, exhale on the way up. Three, four, squeeze those buttons now. Five, six, 
seven, three more, eight, nine, one more time. Now keep your hips up. You're gonna go back to that first leg, but this time think of a butt lift. So I'm gonna take from here my elbows down to the floor and then pulse. One, two, three. Now try to touch the ceiling. Five with your toe, six, seven, eight, nine, top of that motion, pulse it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep pressing now down from here, you guys, through those triceps. Relax, but keep your hips up and switch sides. Nice deep breath in, dip the hip and lift. One, you're digging from here, those triceps down towards the floor. Abs in, five, six, seven, eight, nine, top of the movement, pulse it, 10, eight, six, four, two, and give it a rest. Take from here, the bottom of your feet together. You have that natural curve in your spine. Interlace your hands. Take from here and try to start pinning your low back down as you reach your arms up and over your head. Now feel that space here by gluing that low back down without shrugging the shoulders, pulling that belly button in. Now from here, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and squeeze the buns up and we're gonna isolate and hold here the side of the hips. Now we're gonna use the arms here and hold them out to the side. So the goal is going to be to circle the arms back. If it does not work with weights, do it without weights. And if it doesn't work keeping this position with your legs, you can do a bridge and come back to here. Okay, so from here, low back down, lift the hips up, no tension or stress here. In the neck, palms up, circle. One, two, three, four, five. Now hold the rest of the body steady. Six, dig those heels, seven, eight, squeeze your buns, nine, protect your back. Now rewind it, your palm is still up. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze it up there now, seven, eight. If you need a break, you can drop your hips for a moment. Otherwise, palms down, circle back. One, two, three, and four. If you need to soften your elbows, that's fine. Four, three, two, rewind it. One, and two, three. Now keep that belly button pulled in, you guys. Give me five more. Five, four, three, two, one more. And give it a rest. Nice work. From here, lengthen your left leg and pull that right knee in. Now, nice deep breath in. Think of a partial happy baby pose. So I could bend that right knee and just pull it down, or I can simply hug it in. So what I want you to do here is if your right knee is bent in, your left leg is extended, you're gonna tuck your right toes behind your left knee, take your left hand, rub onto the outer part of your right knee, and lengthen that right arm. So this stretch, you guys, before you get out of bed in the morning, wake up your spine and open. Just take a moment to kind of let that body just acclimate back to movement. So nice inhale, nice exhale. Pull that back up and in. Now you're gonna lengthen and pull the left knee in. I can hug with my left arm, contracting my right leg. I can grab on if this works to my left foot, come to that partial happy baby pose, opening up my hip here. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and tuck my left toes behind my right knee. Right hand is gonna grab on to that outer part of the left knee, and then I'm gonna lengthen my left arm. Nice deep breath in. Rotate as far as you feel comfortable using that right arm to drive that knee down. Wonderful job, you guys. From here, we're gonna go ahead and roll it up, flip it over, down dog, Lengthen your spine and shake that nonsense out of your head. So we're going to hold here the crouching tiger. Now, if I can do this from here, I'm going to alternate and tap one shoulder and then the other. If it does not work, I can focus just on holding here without trying to elevate and lifting one arm and then the other. The goal is to try to hold the body in one space here. You're going to feel some, hopefully, some burning in the quadriceps. Believe it or not, if you're a skier, I notice my skiers do not feel this as much in your quadricep because they already have these muscles built. So nice deep breath in, a great way to build that here is you're gonna hover, neck in neutral. Now your knees are just an inch or two from the floor. Keeping the body in one space, tap the shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, one more, down dog, lengthen, big breath in, walking the feet into the hands, big breath in, now feel that space in the back part of your body, soften the knees, if your weights are close by, you're going to bring them up with you, now you'll bend your knees and pick them up. So we're going to isolate here that warrior. What I want you guys to do here is you're going to rotate your right foot so that it's lined up with the heel on the instep of your left. Now, from here, I'm going to soften and try to open up my hips as much as I can. It's fine if I'm here, but I want to rotate my upper body forward. If I can sink down, I'm going to sink as far as I can. And then I'm going to reach and pull right into my hip. One, two, one line, three, four, exhale, five, six, and seven, right along that side of your body, eight, nine. Now I'm gonna open up into a triangle. So I'm gonna straighten the leg. And then from here, I'm trying to take that bottom hip and rotate it towards you. But what I'm gonna do is throw myself off balance here by taking that left arm, bringing it down and opening. One, exhale, two, exhale, three. Inhale down, exhale, four, five, neck in neutral, Six, you can hold yourself up against the wall to practice this. Seven, eight, two more times, you guys. Nine, one more. Fantastic. Bend your back knee. Wonderful job. We're going to switch sides. So now line up your heel and your instep and soften that left knee. If your body is rotated to the corner, try to bring it towards me. Tuck from here, reach, one, two. Now bend that knee as far down as you can, three, but don't let your knee come past your toe. Four and five, that's it, you guys. Six and seven, you're so strong. Eight, two more, nine and 10. Now we're gonna open triangle and find that nice big stretch here. So big breath in, nice big breath out. Now rotate down and up, that's the way. Yes, one, exhale, two, and three. Inhale down, exhale, four. Beautiful, you guys, five, six, seven, now eight, we got two more. 
nine, one more time. Press to that back foot. Wonderful job, you guys. Lengthen your legs. Reach those fingertips out as far away. Push your hips back. Really lengthen your spine. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Now take your heels in and sink your hips down low. You're going to take that right shoulder and rotate it. Big breath here. Switch it up, you guys. Other side. Feel that big stretch now. Inhale. Exhale. Now we're going to really focus one more time here on those legs, you guys. Without using a wall, you're going to come to a sumo style squat. So your toes are rotated out. Your shoulders are coming back. Now I want you to squat down as low as you feel comfortable. Take from here those arms in. Now from here, you can drop your arms down and you're gonna open and squeeze the scapula. So one, two, three, four, five. You guys are so strong. Six, take your heels down. Seven, eight, nine, one more. Stand up straight. You're gonna bend here and just take from here on that tiptoe of the left. Now you're gonna open up your arms to that right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three more, eight, nine, give it a rest. Other side now, I'm popping up here on the tiptoe of the left, sinking, arms to that right, last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, as low as you can go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. I'm gonna go ahead, you can use a wall or a chair if you want to, and you're gonna bend and try to line up your legs. Now, if you don't need to use a wall, you can hold here. Try to line up your quadriceps. Big breath in. Nice big breath out. Switch feet. Now you're trying to line up your knee here. So if I can, if my leg is here or back here, I'm trying to line it up, find that center, and open up the quadriceps. Inhale. Exhale, one more big breath. And I'm gonna drop that foot down, push my hips back and sink. Now, if I could only bring my chin to my toe, reach down as far as you can. Feel that space in your hamstring. Nice deep breath in, sticking the bumps of the chest out. Bring it back up. And then switch feet. Hinge from your hip. Imagine that chin coming right to your toe. And then reach nice and long. Big breath in. Nice big breath out. And then from here, come all the way back up, you guys. Wonderful job. Let's take a nice big breath in. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale. Now this time, take your palms down to your heart center. Think about all the blessings in your life. Pull them up and in right here. Give a nice big thanks. Rest your hands on your heart and gently bow your head. Namaste, you guys. Fantastic job. Have an amazing day today. Great work.